If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team Coins, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MuleFactory.com. They're literally the cheapest place to buy coins on the internet. You'll have a 5 minute delivery time, 24 7 support, and also make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 for a 5% off. What is up guys, welcome back to the next episode of the top 5 trades of the week. I know this has been delayed, but I've been doing loads of streaming, this is a crazy episode, and yet there was a min price in form hazard snipe. So if you want to send in your trades for this series, you need to send a picture over to my Twitter, which is on the screen right now, and you need to send me a picture of you picking up the card, and a picture of you selling on the card, like all of the images in this video, but now, let's get into the trades. It's a mad one. Fifth place, it would not be a top five trade to the week without XP for Jeff here. This is quite an old trade, but I've still got it from him. He picked up a one to watch Pogba for 1.3 million coins. And that Pogba card is absolutely mad. He got it when it was the 90 rated card. And as you can see, he sold it on a 1.5 million coins. You can see a striker Ronaldo in his transfer list as well. And he made a profit of 139.5k. Fourth place here, we have Benix Fool. Picking up one of these special fuck birthday cards, this nanny here for 145k. These cards are amazing looking cards, really nice there on that nanny card. And in the comment section down below, which is your favourite one of those new fuck birthday cards? As you can see, he sold on this nanny for 342,000 coins, giving himself a profit of 179.9k. Stepping things up, third place, we have the Capital Game with a one to watch Mane deal, picking up this Mane for 155k. So he probably picked this up ages ago and then realized Mane got injured, so he might not even be playing. He might even be out for the season, so he might not be getting any more one to watch cards. But here you can see he sold it on and got 422,000 coins for his Mane card. Absolutely crazy still, and he made a profit of 245.9k. Stepping up a little bit more, Liverpool focus, picking up an inform of Sanchez for 291,000 coins. Again, mad 90 rated Sanchez card. You can see he's got a lot of coins as well, but he made more profit on the Sanchez when it sold off. As you can see, he sold on the Sanchez for 579,000 coins, giving himself a profit of 259k, and also he coin total got up to 2.2 million. Now it's the thing you've all been waiting for. Christopher Johnson. How has he done this? He has sniped Inform Hazard for 88,000 coins. His minimum price. I don't know. You must have been freaking out when you bought this deal. Absolutely insane. And as you can see, he sold it on for 870,000 coins. For those wondering why it changed from a CF to a striker, when you sell on a card, the actual sold card like displays as its default position. For those wondering, and he made a huge profit of 738.5 thousand coins. Absolutely crazy. Well done, Christopher, for winning this week's episode. Everybody featured in this video is linked down in the description down below. So make sure you're able to check them out. I will try and do some more trading content and more videos, but streams have been mad. They should be back very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that and remember to send you your trades for next week. The next episode, fingers crossed, should be Sunday, unless I'm streaming and then you can watch that live instead. But that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you on my next video.